What's up my beautiful dreamers and welcome back to my video with your girl Shalinda One. So I decided to jump in on this tag that I don't even know who started it but I thought it was so super cool and on this last day of Black History Month I could only show respect to my loves by doing and recreating a look by one of our fellow amazing beauty YouTubers here and that is Shayla. Love Shayla so much. And I definitely saw this look and wanted to recreate it. It's one of her most popular videos. So let's jump right on in. All right, I'm gonna start with the Golden Glow Illuminating Moisture Balm. This is super hydrating, okay? So whenever my skin is more dehydrated, like right now, huh, I can use it. It's a little bit too moisturizing for me because I have combination skin. So I don't have that. <laughs> Um, I don't have that. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with my Lancome um, La Base Pro Hydra Glow. This is an illuminating makeup primer moisturizer. Can you see that? No, because of my background. Just has a little bit of glow. Like, like, and it smells good. Fresh. I love how the Bobbi Brown skin uh, care and like anything that's for the skin smell. Okay. It's like, oh, yeah, honestly, I need to use this primer more often. Goodness gracious, it was not cheap, but I would say it feels so good on my skin right now. This is the exciting part. This is the new Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation, and it has SPF 15. So this guy is- She's going in with the Bobbi Brown um, foundation. You guys know I had it, um, I reviewed it, but then I gave it away to a friend. So I don't have that, and so for what I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna go in with my YSL All Hours Foundation. <laughs> and if I'm not mistaken, that full that Bobbi Brown was more medium to full coverage, so I'm gonna go in, and I'm not going to color correct, because she didn't color correct. So I'm gonna go in and uh, add that to my face. And I'm gonna go in with a very thin layer, to try to thin it out some. See how you can still kind of see my skin through it? It doesn't look heavy at all, it just looks like, it looks like my skin, a little bit of like a, that like moisture balm kind of made it look super like hydrated and glowy. I could even wear this by itself without like anything else. Next I'm gonna apply my Pro Longwear Concealer in NC42. I'm actually gonna put this under my eye, all over my eye, and under my cheek. Oh Gosh. my god, I haven't used this concealer in so long. So I am going to go in with, because I have it, I just haven't used them in so long. I'm gonna go in with, because I think she likes a super so bright highlight, right? Eye, I don't, I'm not gonna do eye, that. So I'm gonna go in. And under my cheek. Yeah, she likes a really, really, really bright one. I'm going with the 45, and I'm going to find a way to be okay with that. And she's going in with a, um, like a tapered uh, blending uh, beauty blender. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm just going to put it in the back of my hand. And remember, my little I haven't trick, used you guys, in always so bring in the concealer on the inside of the Hi, mixture. baby. And it'll naturally... It feels so good to go and try well, something you haven't tried in a long time. It'll contour the nose, see? But see how it like creates those dark lines right there? It's because you're bringing the concealer all the way. That's why I like using a sponge. You can either use a sponge, which is LC, or you can use like any type of like beauty blender. As long as it's like an egg shape, you know? I'm gonna contour my face. Wait, and my wait, eyes. I'm gonna contour wait, my I'm face still and my eyes. Basically. I'm gonna contour my face and my eyes. Basically, um, like she did not say. Okay, wait, wait. Are you gonna set? I have to set my under eye because I got lines for days and, but she didn't say she set her under eye. So what am I to do? So I'm guessing she, um, you know, blends it out and does her other stuff off camera, which I just realized that anytime I do a tutorial, <laughs> It's really difficult for you guys if I skip steps because I don't know if she said it. I don't know if she said her under eye. I'm gonna set mine because I feel like I kind of have to. It's real quick. Cause me not setting that 
is a dangerous, dangerous thing. I'm gonna contour my face and my eyes, basically like right chaw, with the Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation in number eight. I love using stick Okay, so she's contouring. She's not even bronzing. She's going straight into contour. And um, I don't have the Bobbi Brown, which I actually would like to try. So at first I thought I was gonna go in with my black opal stick foundation and walnut, but I swatched it and it's really, does, it's not picking up very well. So I decided here's a great time to go back and use some of my Fenty and I'm gonna go in with the Fenty uh, contour stick in espresso. That's what she looks like. So let me see how she's doing. The contour so you can get like nice precision. Okay, so she went here. I don't have that brush, but I really like that brush. I want the brush. Let me find a brush. And she said, going circular motions. To blend out my foundation, my contour, and then I'll switch to like a brush for a year. But there's like no wrong way. Wait, Shayla, wait! I'm not seeing how you're doing this with earrings, Shayla, but I'm with you. You didn't take yours off, I'm not taking mine off. A lot of times I like to put a little bit of the con or the contour, I should say, in the crease here, just so it looks so like a natural oh, depth without putting shadow on. I and you could either up. use this large kind of cream blending okay. brush, or you could use a fluffy mm -hmm. cream brush. I'm just using this. You could even use your finger. So I feel like this technique is good if you're like, okay, I want to highlight and contour, and I want to do everything, but it's like I don't have really have time to do eyeshadow. It's like a matte, like matte finish. All right, but I'm gonna put powder. That's what I do. That's what I do. <laughs> so this is the Bobbi Brown Golden <laughs> Orange Sheer Press Powder. Oh, this is like I don't have that. So obviously I don't have that. So I'm just gonna go in with my Laura Mercier. I've never used this to set my entire face. So this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna set under my eyes and on top of my eyes. I don't hate the way that Look looks at how right good now. this looks. It just looks super natural and fresh. Oh, and I'm not yeah. gonna bake. I just haven't been baking lately, you guys. My skin, it's just like, I don't know. Sometimes if I bake, Quick, it looks I have to dry. say, this looks, I've never really okay, set. <laughs> I'm going to fill in my okay. brows with the uh, Bobbi Brown. So, brow powder duo with. I don't think I need to tell y'all that I don't have that. But I've never done my face without my brows usually go first. So, I'm going to follow her lead. I don't have that. The only powder that I actually have is by Benefit. This brow zings situation right here. So, <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> I'm going to try, and then I think I'm going to go in with my, um, precisely my brow pencil. But I'm going to try. It's all about trying here, right? So we're going to see what this does. And I'm gonna be real mad if I actually start it like this. I am not mad at that, Shayla, at all. I cannot believe I just used powder on my brows and actually like it. Mm. <laughs> not too shabby. This is like my go-to brow powder. I like using powders because it just, it looks natural, you know? To get that fresh face look, I'm gonna use a Bobbi Brown Moon Glow, which is one of my favorite, favorite. You already know I don't have that, right? So I'm gonna go in with my Lancome Dual Finish Highlighter in um, Dazzling Bronze, if I can open it. And that is what she looks like right there. I'm gonna start with my fan brush. 
and oh she has a small one wait let me grab a small one i don't use fan brushes i have them but i don't use them okay hold on this is fun Okay, wait, Shay. Why are you running? Oh, we're gonna use our fan. Oh, so we just gonna oh, we're gonna do the whole. This is really what makes the skin look like fresh. Oh, oh, so you gonna do the whole nose? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm really scared to do this because she started from like down. Okay. You know what you do? Okay. Okay. Can you see that? Yeah, let me see. Let me see if I can do it now. Okay. You use okay, the same finger. Okay. Okay, I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, I'm doing it. And you said all the way up to the brow bone? Like all the way up. Okay, I'm like I'm doing it. Did I do it? <laughs> did I do it? I think I did it. Oh. Like we, we want oh. Oh. Okay, so this is something else that's very new. I usually don't line my eyes until after I put on my lashes. But we're going to try it. What I like, oh, what am I using? I'm using, this is by Lancome. This is their Grandiose Liner. All right, I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Eye Opening Mascara. But you know, so I'm gonna go in with my Lancome Monsieur, uh, Monsieur, I think that's what it, Monsieur Big, um, yeah, Monsieur Big Lancome Mascara. These are the Huda Beauty Samantha Lashes, which are just Okay, so obviously I don't have those, so I'm gonna go in with my everlasting, my everlasting um, eyelashes in amber. And this is what they look like because they are very wispy. She's wearing wispy. I'm wearing wispy. Yeah. I'm gonna apply apricot blush with my angle brush. So I don't have that blush. I went through my collection and I tried to find something extremely similar. I'm really not a blush girl, so I don't have a lot of blush. So I found a blush from the bomb. And there's something about pink or like peachy blush that really makes the face look super fresh. Especially when your eyes and or well, lips aren't gonna be neutral, even if your lips are neutral. There's just something about like pink or peach that just really kind of brightens up the face. I always start kind of on the outside of the cheek and go back and forth in a downward motion so my cheeks look snatched. Snatched. One more time. Snatched. Alright, I'm gonna finish off the look with MAC Mahogany lip liner. And don't have that. Lipstick so I'm gonna brown. go in with my LA Girls lip liner in dark brown. Again, this is lilac. I don't have a lilac color, so I went shop my collection and tried to find something as close as I possibly could. And this is from Laroc, and this was a part of their um Beauty and the Beast collection, and this is called Belle Eve. And it has a little bit of that lilac to it. All right, I'm gonna finish off the look with the Mama Star Mac Times Patrick Club. Just gonna go in with the matching lipstick, the lip, the matching I'm just gonna go on with the matching lip gloss that go to, goes with this lipstick from the same collection. Even though I don't really feel like it needs it. And this kind of matches. It goes really, really well with the lipstick. But she used gloss, I use gloss. gloss it. I know, it looks like I don't have any hair, but look, there it is. It's there. Look at, it's there. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching my fresh, natural, everyday look i am obsessed with this i think it's the 
Okay, what I like the best is definitely the foundation. Okay. I like and this is. highlight, the moon glow highlight on the center of my yes. eyes is just like giving me all types of light. Yes, it, it looks just, just refreshing. refreshing. Boom, there you have it. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about this look in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And last but not least, Shrine Slay. <laughs>